On this episode of which truck is best for you, we're doing something different because right now it's full-size truck versus mid-size. And the reason we are doing this comparison is because they are both $55,000 if you look at the window sticker. So we're going to discuss what's the best pickup truck in the FCA family if you have $55,000 to spend. Heck yeah, and they're both off-road trucks. This is a brand new Ram Rebel four-wheel drive crew cab. And this is, of course, a brand new Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with a few mods, but we're going to kind of gloss over the mods, right? Well, with the mods, it's like a $70,000 <laughs> truck. So. Okay, so we'll gloss it over. All right, let's start with the engine, Andre. What's under the hood of the Gladiator? Well, it's the venerable and ubiquitous 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. That's seen some better days right there, Andre. Look at the dust. So clearly this one gets used, but horsepower and torque. Yeah, 285 horse, 260 uh, pound-feet of torque. Uh, by the way, the same engine is available in this truck, a 3.6 liter V6, although this is a hemi-powered uh, Rebel right here. Although in the Rebel, it makes more power because it's a bigger, heavier truck. Eight-speed automatic here. We have a Leaf. There's a Leaf. Six-speed manual available. Yes. And this engine is used in the Challenger, the Charger, the Chrysler 300C, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Wrangler. Ram 1500, the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's used in the Grand Caravan. It's used um, pretty where much. Is it, where is it not used? Where is it not used? Is it maybe the <laughs> Fiat 500? It's not in the Fiat 500. That's about it. Okay, but here's the thing: if you do want to roll your own gears, you choose the Gladiator, right? Because a manual transmission is available. There is no manual right here. Well, why don't you pop the hood and we'll talk about what's under that? Yeah. Realistically, like one percent of you, by by statistics, are actually going to want to roll your own gears, but you know, there are still some uh, hardcore manual enthusiasts out there. Now this, this is a big boy. Oh, we have a lot of leaves. Um, not Nissan leaves, but just regular leaves. Uh, this is a Hemi, 5.7 liter. And Alex, our producer, uh, picked uh, the one with the e-torque system as well. Yeah, the food processor, as I call it. It looks no, like a it's nice a little food. blender sitting up there, but the e-torque is uh, basically a 48 volt mild hybrid system. And the cool thing about the e-torque is it does absolutely nothing at all. But if you what? want it, it sits there on top of the engine. Andre, it does nothing. It does start-stop. It starts start-stop, it, start, start, it smooths out shifts. It, well, it's also affordable. Anyways, engine is much stronger in the Ram than yes. the Jeep. 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, which is a lot of engine, a lot of torque, a lot of power, but also a much heavier truck. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But what about fuel economy? Oh, geez. No, I knew you were going to ask me that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's kind of similar, actually. Is it? Yes, and I don't know the answer. Well, we'll find the exact <laughs> fuel economy below. But we've tested both of them on our MPG loops, road trips. About 18 we got in a similar Ram Rebel V8. And you got like 17 and a half or 18 -ish. It's worse. Yeah, and with the lift it's like <coughs> 16. Anyways, yeah. enough with fuel economy, let's talk about design. Design. I know you like to call the Ram design the Italian mustache. I did like to call it the mustache <laughs> until I ran into the chief designer at a program and what? he called me on it. What? <laughs> so, I, uh, you know what, I'm still going to call it the mustache. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, but that's just a little funky. It's a little weird. Uh, the Jeep is iconic. Seven slots of Americana right there, round headlights. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's one thing you either love the styling of the Gladiator or you hate it. The Ram is much more conservative. I actually have a small issue with this. I love the Jeep style yep. for the Wrangler, okay. but this is not a Wrangler. This is a truck. So in the future, maybe I'm hoping that they would make it a little bit unique. Something else. Well, that's the Wrangler with the bed. Something else. Let's talk about the wheel and tire package. And suspension packages. Yeah, so not exactly apples to apples, but the uh, Gladiator here is rolling on 17-inch wheels. It had much more fancy high-end wheels from the factory, but we put on four spares because, uh, I, I don't know, I like <laughs> the look of the UN... No, it's military. Yeah, the, the, the UN spec ambulance, apparently. Uh, but this also had Fox shocks from the factory. It still has Fox shocks. And what about the uh, Rebel? Well, this is kind of a different story. Uh, by the way, uh, from the factory, they come with a similar size tire. The Gladiator comes with about the 33, and so does the uh, Rebel, a very similar size tire. But this is a Duratrack from the factory. Bill Stein shocks. I'm learning how to say Bill Stein. Uh, but so, special suspension, it's two inches higher approximately than a regular Ram 1500. And I love uh, these aggressive tires, they're cool. 
Now, for those of you off-roady types out there, um, there's a couple things you need to know for protection-wise. They both have skid plates, but look at this. The Rubicon has these uh, sliders that are fitted to the side of the vehicle, so when you're crawling up big rocks, you don't want to damage your, um, your rocker panel. The Ram doesn't have sliders, although you can get steps and the like, but for off-road protection, uh, there's a lot more of it. Look, look at this. I got a little baby one in the back too. That's for when you're really doing stuff serious. The Rebel's got nothing back there. So, off-road capability, the, the, the Jeep's gonna be better. It's got front and rear lockers. Solid axles, lots disconnect. of articulation. Yep. So yeah, if you're going off-road, or if off-roading is a primary focus, I would say the Gladiator would be it because it's a little bit smaller, right? Yeah. So it's more maneuverable, it's more capable. Not to say that the Rebel is not capable, but it's just a little bit larger, a little bit heavier. Uh, but things change on payload and towing, right? Well, let's talk about that when we get to the rear, and let's talk about the bed size on the uh, Gladiator, because it's oh, really small. Oh, Tommy, I forgot my measuring tape. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. All, all you need to know is that the bed in the Gladiator is small, and it's even smaller if you put a, a rack and a deck system in it. Um, this is like, I call this the uh, hobbyist truck. No, but seriously, it's, it's a, a very, five foot bed. very small. Yes. yes. It's also narrow. It looks good, like it's bigger than a Wrangler, but it's it's much smaller than the Ram. And what's the Ram bed? Dude, the Ram is, well, first of all, you have several options. Here in the Gladiator, there's only one choice, crew cab short bed. Here you have two different cab sizes, several different bed lengths. Um, and this is a basically kind of a five and a half foot option. We have like a leaf fo foliage. I know. Um, and look at this. Alex has bed lined this bed. He's got a bed extender. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, no, the rims are preventing me from... Here, lift it up, Andre. The rims are preventing me from doing it. There you go. Um, Look at that. So, so That's yeah. cool. I like that. Is so, that a Mopar thing? I don't it's know. not a Mopar it's not. thing, apparently. Uh, but look how much wider the bed is. The bed the is much wider. It's 50 inches or 50 and a half inches of wheel well to wheel well. Uh, obviously, you can carry motorcycles here like Alex does. And uh, it's much more usable. More payload. Way more payload. Dude, what is up with these leaves? I like it. <laughs> it's like uh, being in a Mary Poppins book. <laughs> so uh, this truck, the Rem Rebel, configured this way. Oh, no. Okay, you're ready? Put it down. Oh. There you go. It's about uh, 1,450 pound, uh, pounds of payload. It's about like 1,100 in this Jeep. What about towing on this Rebel? Huge. 11,000? Yeah, the Jeep is 7,000. 7,000. You wouldn't want to do that regularly, let me tell you what. Uh, do you want to hop in the driver's seat of yeah. the uh, Rebel? I'm going to hop in the back seat. If you want to go cross country in a truck and be comfortable, I think this is the way to do it. This is fancy. You get a lot more leather yes. for 55,000 in the Rebel. Yes, you do, and a lot more room. Just look at the size of the center console. It's like a foot and a half. It's really comfortable. Of course, you get your latest infotainment system. Yeah, what's that, like a, screen. like a drive-in movie theater in the center yes. of the Rebel? And then you also get the rumble. But look at this. Uh, this is nice, too. Trailer brake controller. Built in. Integrated. You know, Jeep recently uh, announced again that they're offering the brake controller from Mopar now in the Jeep. So let's see. Uh, Alex, this is your truck here. Let's see what options you have. Heated seats, I got those. He's didn't really have that. Uh, mirror dimmer. Uh, backup camera, of course you have that. Do you have the front facing camera? He does not, but it's. Actually, the Rebels don't offer that. There you go. Uh, the Jeep does. I don't have it though. Um, okay, what about navigation? Is this the nav? Yep. Ooh, navigation. Look at that. Yep, Ooh, it's all good. Fancy. Don't don't give away our location. Look at this wireless charger. Yes. Tons of USB ports. Uh, shift knob. Yeah, why is there a hockey puck on the? I don't know, but it's an eight-speed, um, and uh, all of your controls are right here. Pretty easy. Four-wheel drive, axle lock, hill descent control, nice steering wheel, uh, really nice. You know, it's no sunroof though. No, no sunroof. But Not huge back room. seat, right? Yes, and I'm gonna move some of Alex's stuff. But it's actually a good demonstration. Alex, you want to you open okay? this door? Are you okay? Yes, I've, I've gotten myself into a pickle here. Hang, hang on. Um, so this is the back seat of the Red Bull with it folded up. Look at the room. Look at that platform for holding and carrying things. And then, of course, the seat folds flat. 
like this. This is a working truck. This truck, not, it's not just a commuter, it's no, a working thing. Primarily dogs and motorcycles. Yes. If that's working. But anyways, <laughs> tons of rear seat legroom here. Heated rear seats, you got the power outlet. This is like, this is a better back seat than the Rolls Royce under. It is nice. Let's check out the Jeep really quick and then we have to pick our favorite. All right, now the Jeep, very nice on the inside, but the best part, of course, oh yeah, baby, freedom panels and the whole roof pops open so you can uh, enjoy the sun when it's not 40 degrees in Colorado. Uh, the doors pop off as well, windshield folds down. This thing is ready to hit the beach for college in the 1980s. It's about what they're used for. Wow. But uh, other things on the inside of the Gladiator. The sewing machine. <laughs> not great. And they don't sound much better when you put an exhaust on them, but a little bit more durable on the floor mat here. I like how it comes up over the side here. Uh, this one has the leather seats. Uh, it's not, it's not like it's, uh, slumming it in here. I mean, heated seats, heated steering wheel, navigation. It's this is nice. 8.4. But look at this center console. It's like one inch wide. Yeah, it's a little guy. Although, look at this for my mad skids. <laughs> and look at this, the man lever. Ooh, that is nice. And uh, of course, lever for drive, neutral, park, and reverse. I think I think that's my dog. Wait, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> That's Blaze, right? <laughs> That's Blaze the puppy, of course. Okay. Uh, but yeah, for road trips, not as good in the front. Also, what is this crap? Ready? What? It's a you, seat. You can't move it back? The Rebel has these amazing seats. They're comfy, they're power adjustable. This, first of all, doesn't go back far enough. B, it's like sitting on a leather park bench. It's got like no support anywhere. Seats are bad. Audio system is incredible. So does the Rebel. Um, yeah, why don't you show but, the rear seat? Yeah, but also there's not like a rear um, airbag in here either. Correct? Don't crash. Don't crash. So I'm sitting behind this seat that's all the way back and my knees are touching. So yes, the back seat is very more upright. Um, I have headroom, but I have to really lean down to get in and out. So the back seat, of course, is quite a bit smaller. Andre, fold it up. What? We're gonna do a test. Is this a dog test? Fold up the, uh, the bottom here. Oh. Ah, you see? That's a problem. What? There's like a big shelf here. It doesn't fold flat. Do you want to fold it down? Oh, uh, why are you carrying a dog? Because I wanted to do it for a test. Okay. Go, oh, Andre. It's such a heavy dog here. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Total lack of upper body strength really biting me in the butt here. Hi, Blaze. How you doing, buddy? Blaze is gonna chop my head off. Okay. Oh, he's yeah, he's like, he's like the king up there, but you'll notice not a huge amount of room and he can fall off. Compare that to the ram. Andre, do you want to fold the seats in the ram? Uh, oh, geez, he's falling into the hole. Felix will allow me. Blaze, it's okay, buddy. Oh, man, you're scared. I know. The Jeep Gladiator is scary, isn't it? Oh! baby oh he's a little baby look at him how old is blaze he looks like he's 40 pounds but trust me he's at least 45 so how, how old is he uh, he's it's almost five months now all right buddy let's see now that's a happy dog look at that blaze uh, so happy he just jumped right out so the rebel passed the dog test rebel passed the dog test okay all right. So guys, uh, uh, tell me, we gotta decide which truck uh, is your favorite. <laughs> okay, let's let's go up front. I think here. Blaze knows which uh, which uh, truck is his favorite. We're gonna do the sit test. Blaze, come here, come here. Sit. Nope. Sit. Hi. Oh, he's too hyped up hi, on hi, the hi. sit. Hi. Sit. Here, sit. Ah, okay. Okay. Now let's see which way he goes. <laughs> he sat. No, 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 no. He said exactly for one millisecond. He wants neither truck, he just wants to play. Yes. So I gotta choose the Rebel. Do you know why? Towing. Towing and payload. I, I have a trailer I wanna tow. And yes, the Gladiator will tow a trailer, but I'm more comfy in the Ram Rebel, first of all, interior, and towing. I am going to choose the Gladiator. 
But I like the, the Gladiator more just because it's easier to park, much easier to fit in the garages. Okay. Uh, it's also much better off-road. It just feels more happy. All right, guys, I hope this gives you a good perspective. Full size versus mid size. Which truck is best for you for 55 grand? Or maybe a little bit less if you get a deal. And go back to tfltruck.com for my news views in the real world truck reviews. There's also TFL off road. And there also, we don't have a TFL dog, do we? No, sorry, he's eating something. What are you chewing on? We don't have a TFL dog. All right. I mean, he's a TFL dog, but not a TFL dog channel. All right. I'll see you guys next time, huh, buddy? You were a bad boy today. Yes, you were. You were not impressive with your training skills. That's okay, you're just a puppy.